shot. Please. You're right. I just kept seeing myself in the protagonist. How unhappy she was in her marriage and job. How unfulfilled she was. Emotionally, I mean. She had everything she needed, you know? Yeah. No, like, I I get that. I mean, I don't see in you, obviously, but I get it. You do? Yeah. Okay. I can't believe you're real. Why is that? Well, you know, two people meet online and months pass without seeing each other and then bam, you're here. And it's like... Like a movie? Yeah, like a movie. A good movie, I hope. Maybe. What? Am I not good enough for you? Just enough for me. Uh, Rachel calling. Um, I hope you're having a good time with Katie. Uh, I just wanted to call and let you know that I really did think about what you said to me before you left, and I, um, yeah, just, um, just call me when you get a chance, and we can, we can talk things through, okay? Um, but yeah, have fun, and I will see you when I see you. Okay, bye. Nothing. Sorry. Well, obviously it's something. <laughs> Joe? I just got super weird all of a sudden. About what? I was kissing you and I felt weird. Uh, upset, I guess. Are you sad because you're going home soon? Yeah. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I... Did I... I do something? What? No. Katie, that's not... Then what is it? I wouldn't come all this way just to... reject you, if that's what you mean. You're right, it doesn't make sense. Exactly. No, Joe, I mean this right now, it doesn't make any sense. Katie, I still want to... I still think it would be awesome with you... What's the problem, then? It's complicated. Where are you going? I'm just... I'm just not a good person to be around right now. What? Why? You remember what happened with Rachel? A wolf in sheep's clothing. Never mind. I don't think it's a very good idea for me to stay here tonight. What? I feel like it'll be better for you if I go. We're just both so tired. Joe, I don't care about who you used to be. I care about you now, and I want you to stay. I'm sorry. Joe! Joe, stop! What bus can I take downtown?
I'm tired. I'm done. Katie, please. You're right. You know, you really hurt me just now. I know. Well? You remember that night when I called you after I found out Rachel had cheated on me? Yeah. Sitting in the park for ages, asking her point blank if she'd been with another guy, and it was hours till she finally said it. I remember. And, and I remember before, when I was good, I was so good, and I loved people, and I loved the closeness, and I loved being close. You know, I think that was the day I realized how important it was for us to be there for each other. Of course, but I thought we wouldn't have to have this conversation, okay? I thought that maybe if I did something different, like a long distance thing, that maybe I wouldn't mess this up like I usually do. I was hooking up with so many girls and I was hurting people. I didn't give a shit. So when I felt myself falling for you, I needed to try to see if there was something, Katie. And I thought there would be. You know, this isn't ideal for me either, Joe. It's not perfect, but nothing ever is. I have these delusions of what's wrong and right. And in my logical mind, I know what's right. But my emotional mind's like, no, fuck you. I'm just going to be bad and be evil. <laughs> and I'm terrified. I, I have friends who've been cheated on. They've moved on. You know I'm here for you, right? Yes, I do. And you're here for me and here with me. When I can be. Well, I think there's obviously some things we need to talk about, but I don't think tonight's the night for that. I think you need to leave, Joe. Yeah. That's what you think is best. You're so amazing. Don't... Please. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Joe. Rachel, it's Joe. Uh, sorry, Mr. Call. I'm just 